way to send out our seniors. We kind of dedicated this game to our seniors and we've been through a lot and you know we're proud for them and uh, uh, this this was the best game we played all year. It was, uh, you know we played it. Uh, uh, all three sides of the ball contributed. All three sides of the ball had their adversity and fought through it. Uh, you know the biggest thing is we hung together for 60 minutes and uh, you know, you'll, you, you'll win a lot of games if you're able to do that. So that, we, we got better today, we grew today, and uh, we need to continue to improve on it. I'm sure the team, and you touched about it, just adversity, but with the way the season started, then Colorado would be able to UCLA, you see some of that fight, and to cap it off today, how, how proud are you, the guys, that it's kind of come full circle? Well, I, I'm really proud of them, and I, you know, kind of what we need to learn from this a little bit is, you know, uh, some of this is easier than we've been making it, you know. Uh, you know, it's really just hanging together and everybody doing their part, not trying to make too much happen. Uh, you know, uh, everybody do their job, make a routine play, and then uh, just stick in there and do it for 60 minutes. And then, uh, you know, don't worry about too much until the dust clears, you know. Coach, you must, oh. How does this game kind of compare with some of the big ones that you played in your no, this was a big one, no question. I mean, they're all big, but th this this was really a big one. You know, I think uh, a lot of folks that count us out and our guys rose up. And, you know, the biggest thing that happens, uh, teams will have problems and, you know, and then they'll, you know, they'll, they'll quit and wave the white flag, that type of thing. And, you know, our guys never really did. We had some tough moments. We, you know, I had a lot of people get knocked out this year and fought through it. and. Uh, and, uh, you know, was uh, proud of their resiliency. They stayed excited to play and uh, capped it off with this one. Earlier this week, you talked about how important this could be with a win to set the tone going into the offseason and also recruiting and all that. Can you talk about uh, how this helps uh, the team all over the place? Well, I think it does all that, and it's a good thing because offseason starts on Monday. So uh, uh, so that's, that's good there, and we've got a bunch of recruits in town, and this was a good one for them to... The biggest thing that made it good was, you know, our crowd and the environment. They got to really experience that, and so I think, uh, uh, you know, that's really good. Coach, you talked about the rivalry. You talked about the town and the environment. What did you learn, you know, with this game about the Cougar faithful and Pullman its town? I, I can't say that I learned anything. I mean, I knew the fans were incredibly loyal fans, always enthusiastic about the Cougs. I knew that. You know, it was a big deal to beat the Huskies, and have been hearing about that since the day I walked through the door and had a sense of that before I ever got here. Uh, it is a great win. It's a great win for our institution, a great win for our fans, a great win for our players. And so, you know, and then the environment, that was, uh, you know, I knew it would be exciting, and it was really exciting. And I was kind of amazed how quick all those fans got out there on the field. Sometimes it takes them a little while. It didn't take them very long. How heavy is that trophy? Not very. Uh, no, it's, it's kind of refined quality. I mean, it's like it's like one of those where there's some artistry to it, where you know it's big but it's light. Like the the 45 yard field goal that tied it on, on fourth and short. I mean, did, did you think about going for it at all? Or? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. And, uh, if I had, I could suspect we would have won in regulation. We kicked it, and uh, Fernie did a heck of a job and drained the thing, and so it was good. Why did you ultimately decide to kick it? Uh, I don't know. I'm, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's easy now to say I did the right thing just because it turned out we won. But uh, you know, just when you consider the the value of the situation and uh, you know odds and stuff like that, I maybe should have gone for it. You know, I mean, it's real easy now to say, well. Uh, no, that was a great decision because you won, you know. Well, I, yeah, I don't know, you know. I mean, uh, a couple of things happen. If, you know, if we if we go for it, we march in and score regulation and use up the clock. The other thing is if we, um, you know, go for it and then end up kicking a field goal later. They have less time, which helps your chances in regulation. Uh, uh, I'm not sure of the perfect answer. I had about 25 seconds to make the decision. I made one. You know, Yogi Berra says if there's a, f a fork in the road, take it. So I took it. <laughs> <laughs> I think what made this game extra special is the fact that special teams hadn't always performed maybe the way you wanted this season. And, and Andrew was kind of, I know it's a team game, but he was really kind of the hero of this game. What did that say about maybe the confidence you had in him first down from the 10 or 11 yard line? You're saying, I'm not messing around. He's going to win the game right now. 
Well, we were centered up really nicely. We were centered up really nicely, and uh, a lot of times in the past, I've gone ahead and just punched it in. Um, <clears throat> but it was close, it was centered up, it was kind of in the perfect location, and uh, uh, so we kicked it. Who got the game ball after the game? Uh, we're going to get the seniors all game balls. Down 28-10, what was the mood on your sideline at that point? Uh, you know, the biggest thing that was important to us was just keep winning individual battles, keep slugging away and see where it takes you, which I was proud, uh, proud of them that they did, you know. Even though he couldn't play, what did it mean to the guys to be able to win that with, with Travis not being able to go and, and being able to at least watch them win the Apple Cup in the last game? Of the I, I think it was, you know, Travis has really been a solid piece of our foundation here. Uh, you know, Travis uh, has been kind of outnumbered, I think, at times uh, with the mentality that's needed to win and play this game. Uh, and so I think he's been a really good example. And I think uh, <clears throat> over the process of the season, more and more people have uh, jumped on uh, board with the same mentality Travis has. And I think, you know, you, you know, when you try to build something, you start out with a couple, and in our case, Travis in particular, and then there's more and more draw from that, and pretty soon the number grows and there it's bigger and you got more people to think like that and then eventually you evolve into a tough football team instead of you know just one that signed up and plays. And so I think he's really been instrumental uh, in that, you know, converting some of the young guys, uh, you know, being an example to them.